Okay, next um, in our looking at the day class uh, for CSC 125. Oh, hi, I'm Ken Urban. Uh, we want to look at the constructor for the day class that we have so far. Um, we have a basic constructor, which just sets sort of a default day. But a lot of times when we create a date, we're going to want to create a date um, with uh, a month, a day, and a year. And um, I'm kind of tempted to say my month equals month and like my day equals day and my year oops my year equals year. Um, but just let me point something out that beginning these with my says that okay I'm taking these parameters I can see declared right here and I'm storing them into the um, to the private data that's part of the class. But um, what I I've, I've already kind of done a function that that has oops that has that same sort of thing, and that's the set month, set day, and set year. Um, so rather than using it directly, I'm going to do set month month. Uh, set day day and set year uh, year and and I mean it's not really a big deal at this point but the the idea that I want is that I don't want to duplicate work ever, right? So if this function that I've already written called set month takes whatever integer, whatever it gets, and converts it into the month for our date class, um, why would I do it both up here in the constructor and again down here in this mutator function? So just going to do it in one spot. Well, I don't want to do things in two spots because then you have to make two changes if something's wrong. You may miss one of them. Who knows what's going on? So I, I'm really going to do it down here. And and since I, I've sort of made that decision to do it down here, oops, I'm also going to do it over here too. And we'll do one, one, two thousand. So let's just do it all in one spot and get everything the same way. And I see that my spacing is up. One, two, three, two, four spaces. Oops. Okay. Um, well, it should only be two spaces. Oh boy. <laughs> Pardon my fixing my code here, but that's. Okay. What I spend a lot of time doing programmers fix that code. Okay, so we have our new constructor in here. Um, I've just written the code for the CPP file, so we have a few things still to do um, to get it back to where it compiles. Right, we need to edit the header file to include this constructor also. I have no qualms writing it in overloaded form. And frankly, I'm just going to call them int, int, int. You know what? Let's just call this int, int, int here too. Um, although month, day, year may make more than that. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. So we have that in there. So let's uh, write that one out. And I'm going to need to test it. So let me go back and edit main CPP. Um, I'm going to take, uh, let's make a copy of everything. Um, and so now I have a copy of two things. Let's uh, call it, I don't know, D2. Boy, that's a 
bad name. And, okay, and let's set it to be um, uh, Christmas this year. Yay, Christmas! Oh, it's this class meal. Okay, now we've got it in there. We've got the new date. Let's see if all the pieces work together. And compile it. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, no errors. Oops. Oh, I know what I did. See, it doesn't, it didn't match what I thought it was going to do. And I know why I didn't do that. Because I didn't pay close enough attention to my changes. Alright, see, I'm setting date 2 equal to date 1. Let's uh, set day two equal to date two. Yeah, because it, it, it's not Christmas. Okay, so we compile it again. We'll run it again. Yes, now you can see we have this invalid date there, invalid month, which will be a lesson for another time. Um, but it's doing what we tell it to do. Uh, so that's the constructors. Um, goodbye.